in the ring, it can only mean one thing. Big things popping, Dixie's BS stopping. Because the half man, half amazing, no longer cornrow wearing, but still savoir faring, jaw dropping, bottle popping, modern day Mac is back in London. Now, last week, due largely in part to Cowboy James Storm's immature jealousy, our main event at TNA Lockdown was sealed. And Gunner, make no mistake, when I assume full control of wrestling operations here at TNA, you will get that opportunity that you earned. But until then, at Lockdown, your main event will be the number one title contender, Samoa Joe. Versus He will face the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, Magnus. So without further ado, I give you the number one contender for the TNA World Heavyweight title, Samoa Joe. Yes, the Samoan submission machine has really been on a roll as of late. Taz, let's go back and let's review how Samoa Joe became the number one contender. Well, Joe tanned it up right there, put that rear choke on Magnus' former partner a month ago, right in Scotland, and got himself the victory, which made him number one contender. And that's huge right there. The confidence has got to be skyrocketed for Joe getting a tap out victory right there. And when he's in that groove, he's unstoppable. Our Magnus days as world heavyweight champion numbered is the clock ticking on Magnus' run with the world title. And his opponent, the TNA world heavyweight champion, Magnus. You know, just like in Manchester, England, fan response here in London, hardly the homecoming welcome that you'd expect for the first British World Heavyweight Champion in 108 years. Taz, let's go back to last week when Magnus defended the World Heavyweight Championship against the Challenge of Gunner. Yeah, very interesting turn of events. The Cowboy James Storm, as the referee's getting out of the ring, well, bam, you see what happens right there. Massive assist to Storm for Magnus retaining his title. Because if Storm don't do that, I don't think Magnus retains. And what do you think about his UK mates here in London, England at Wembley well, Arena? Almost as if they see right through him as a paper champion. I don't want to speak for everybody here in the UK, but I think they're all kind of embarrassed that one of their country mates is kind of the hood ornament of the company. Magnus, I'm a little surprised you're out here by yourself. Where's your sugar mama? Getting her face spray painted? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your champion speaking. And the reason Dixie's not out here is very simple. You see, I reminded Dixie that this once great city is just not what it used to be. Because of people like you, this beacon of society has degenerated into crime, poverty, and debauchery. Quite frankly, ever since I left this place, it's gone straight to hell. And more importantly than that, when it comes to handling the business of my career, the only person I need is me. So get on with it. And I use that term very loosely when I'm referring to you. We're gonna dispense with all the pomp and circumstance. We don't need a 
parade and marching bands. All we need is a clipboard, contracts, a pen, and two signatures. So before we get this thing going, is there anything either one of you would like to say? Wonderful. Now, Magnus, I'm aware of the way you've, uh, for lack of a better term, defended your title over the last three months with all sorts of trickery, unfair advantages, outside interference. So, at lockdown, inside that cage, the Magnus rules will not be in effect. However, the Joe rules will be. What that means is, the match can only be won by submission or tap out or knock out. That's it. And then, I know you fancy yourself a pretty tough guy, but do you really think you can make Samoa Joe tap out? It, it doesn't matter because we will find out inside the cage at lockdown. Joe rules. I, I don't think anyone expected this, especially Magnus, big time in favor of Joe. So that's the way you're going to play, is it? Oh, you think you're going to change the rules as you go along, is it? Think you've got a couple of aces up your sleeve, huh? I've got a whole deck I haven't even played yet. And Joe, look at me when I tell you this. You're an unrefined, dangerous animal. That's why these people use unrefined, dangerous chants like, Joe's gonna kill you. Yeah, what a role model. But you know what they do with dangerous animals? They put them down. Whereas I, your world heavyweight champion, am an articulate, refined representative of the industry. which is exactly why you will never again represent this company as the world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a main event. What you gonna do? He's gonna stand there and breathe that breath in my face? He's gonna stand there and breathe that dog breath all in my face? Are you gonna do something about it? Look! With the headbutt from you know. Samoa Joe, follows up with a series of strikes. Well, that hit, that headbutt hit uh, Magnus right in that swarming mouth of his, and Joe is just beating the living hell out of the world champion right now. Intensity oh, from Samoa Joe at an all new level. It's at a world title level. You could just tell how combustible Joe, save, Joe, Joe was. save it for the pay-per-view. Save it for the cage, Joe. Save it for the cage. Save it for the cage. Magnus heading for higher ground. And Joe in pursuit. Ooh. Just a complete onslaught beatdown on the world champ by the number one contender. Massive advantage for Samoa Joe. Joe rules at lockdown, win by tap out, knockout, or submission. 